In today's video, we'll look at the evidence behind natokinase, the benefits, dosing, side effects, and find out if you can take natokinase instead of your blood thinners. Let's get into it. Natokinase is an enzyme derived from a traditional Japanese dish called natto, which is made from fermented soybeans. In fact, a diet high in natto is thought to be one of the main reasons why Japanese people live so long. The enzyme is known for its ability to dissolve blood clots, which can reduce your risk of heart disease. Now, soybeans themselves as a food are very nutritious and contain proteins, essential amino acids, vitamins, and minerals. Once it gets fermented by the bacteria Bacillus subtilis, it turns into natto and you get more easily absorbed amino acids and even more nutrients such as protein, cellulose, calcium, iron, potassium and vitamin B2. Natokinase is known for its ability to support cardiovascular health by promoting healthy blood flow and circulation. Additionally, natokinase has anti-inflammatory properties which can help to alleviate symptoms of conditions such as arthritis and promote overall joint health. It's also been linked to improved gut health and may also help to improve those with Alzheimer's disease. One of the main ways natokinase helps with cardiovascular disease is by reducing blood pressure. In fact, studies have found that natokinase possibly works in a similar way to the medication group ACE inhibitors. ACE inhibitors are one of the most common groups of blood pressure medication. Some examples are perindopril, ramipril, enalapril, and captopril. So natokinase is thought to inhibit an enzyme called angiotensin converting enzyme, which then helps to relax the veins and arteries, thereby reducing blood pressure. Atherosclerosis is a buildup of plaque in your artery walls. Hyperlipidemia is when you have too much lipids or fats in your blood, including cholesterol and triglycerides. Both of these contribute to your risk of getting a heart attack. A recent 12-month study involving over a thousand people found that taking natokinase every day significantly reduced plaque size in the arteries and improved lipids in the blood. Natokinase has been shown to thin the blood and dissolve blood clots. When given to dogs with chemically induced blood clots, just four capsules, each containing 2,000 fibrinolytic units, was enough to completely dissolve the clots within five hours. Natokinase works for blood clots in both the veins, this is called a DVT, and arteries. This can cause a stroke or heart attack. Its effects are similar to aspirin, which is a commonly used blood thinner to help prevent heart attacks. The problem with medications such as aspirin is long-term there is potential for it to cause gastric bleeding and stomach ulcers. Now you could just eat natto and save yourself the trouble of taking supplements. You can stand the smell and goopy texture. Some people say it smells like stinky cheese. It's definitely a taste that you may need to acquire if you didn't grow up eating it. Now the supplements are generally measured in fibrinolytic units, which I'll shorten to FU. 2000 FU is equivalent to 100 milligrams. So the dosage ranges from 2000 FU to 12,000 FU per day. Many guidelines recommend 2000 FU per day, which is about one to two packs of natto. If you're a generally healthy person, Person, then this dose should be sufficient. However, if you have hyperlipidemia or atherosclerosis, then you should be taking a dosage between 6,000 and 12,000 FU per day. I'd recommend starting on a dose of 10,800 FU per day, which is the effective dosage used in most recent studies. Now, natokinase is resistant to high temperatures, therefore it's very well absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract. Natokinase has been around in Japan for hundreds of years in foods and in all clinical studies there have been no side effects noted. Now there's still a way to go with human trials but so far it looks to be a very safe supplement. Now if you have any bleeding disorders or if you have any surgeries coming up make sure you speak to your doctor before taking natokinase. You also need to be careful taking it if you're on medications to thin the blood and reduce blood clots such as warfarin, aspirin, clopidogrel, medications in the drug class Nolax such as apixaban, dabigatrin and rivaroxaban. Saban. Natokinase can also reduce blood pressure. Be cautious if you're already taking blood pressure medications. Speak to your healthcare professional before taking natokinase if you're on any medications at all. If you're currently on blood thinners, you may be tempted to replace it with natokinase, seeing as the evidence seems very positive. Now there is one case study of a patient using natokinase instead of warfarin after having an aortic valve replacement. A year after taking natokinase every day, the patient developed clotting on the valve. So at this point in time, there's just not enough evidence to justify replacing your blood thinners with natokinase. Although there are currently a lot of studies being conducted, so keep an eye on the future as this may potentially be an option. So that comes to the end of our video on natto kinase. If you found anything useful in this video, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!